Alright, subscribe to Spags1245, right Grayson? Subscribe to Spags1245, that's you know what I'm saying. it is. He is. <laughs> What is up, Spaggots? Um, I thought I would make a new video for you guys today because we did a really cool experiment in physics which was about inertia, which is any change um, physically in an object, whether it be its motion, its speed, um, whether it be it resisted force. Um, it's not the word for word definition, but it's paraphrase sort of. But um, So I'm going to do a real life example and I'm going to show you, well, I'll give you an example of a real life example. And then I'm going to show you a video of what we did. So, real life example your car. Your, the red light goes from um, green to yellow and red in about three seconds. So you slam on the brakes and the car goes forward and you go forward. That's inertia, but a more easier one to understand. You're accelerating when the light goes green from red. Your car goes forward, but you lean back. That's inertia. That's you changing your direction while the object is staying where it is. So I'm going to show a real life example here. Let me clear my little work area here because it's my, it's my dresser. Um, so right here we have a cup. Right here we have a piece of paper. So what we're going to do here. Now the cup's about half full. So hopefully you guys can see that. So when we pull the paper slowly, the cup moves with it. But... If you were to pull it fast, the cup stays where it is. Let me show you that again just in case you guys didn't see it because my camera was a little shaky. So you pull it slowly, cup stays with it. Pull it fast, cup stays where it is. That is inertia. So, now I am going to show you a video of what we did in physics um, but let me explain this a little bit um, it was a hovercraft experiment um, with a leaf blower a little platform and a chair and a helmet safety precautions you know but um, the whole idea is this word called frick shin but um, so when you would turn off the leaf blower the um, sorry about that my mom texted me but anyway um, when you turn off the leaf blower um, it would go to the ground and that would cause friction. So you would have to feather it. You'd have to like keep squeezing it and squeeze it. So you would get air and slowly start to stop. Um, and some people fell off. This is due to the inertia in it. The object would stop due to the friction below it. And you were still going backwards. But, um, <clears throat> or forwards or whatever way you were facing at that time. But, um, so this clip is not the best quality, but I got it from a fellow YouTuber of mine, uh, JJ Studios or whatever his name is now. Jacob Joseph is his real name. But, um, yeah, so I am going to play that. It's about like a eight second video. So I'm going to import that for you guys. And you will be able to see our teacher pushing us down. And hope you guys enjoy that. So basically, in that video, um, you could see I started to spin a little bit. Um, we had no control over which way it was going. The only thing you could really do is either turn your head or stomp your feet. Um, they wanted me to run over the freshman, which I, I would have done. But um, I'm a nice guy, so I didn't do that. Um, I actually went down further than I thought. Um, it wasn't, I wasn't near the longest in the class, but I went down decently far. Um, I just thought it was a really cool experiment relating to Newton's, Newton's law of motion and an object like that type of object stays at rest, tends to stay at rest, and motion tends to stay in motion, uh, number one law, that kind of thing. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and spag it out.